afternoon, um, Chair, Chairperson Mendelson and members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to testify. My name is Tazra Mitchell and I'm the Chief Policy and Strategy Officer at the DC Fiscal Policy Institute. DCFPI thanks policymakers for making bold progress on fair pay for early educators, as Kim just mentioned, and commend OXI and the DC Health Benefit Exchange Authority for their remarkable implementation of the Pay Equity Fund, which is benefiting over 3,000 underpaid early educators, most of whom are black and brown women. My remarks will focus on the performance of the Pay Equity Fund and steps policymakers can take to further promote equity in DC's early learning system. As Kim mentioned, pay supplements are already boosting educators' economic security. Um, more than 90% of teachers eligible for pay supplements have received one. Um, and this high ticket rate is in large part because of Aussie's thoughtful and collaborative leadership and advocates outreach to teachers encouraging their participation. Aussie should continue to use stakeholder input to guide the design of the long-term compensation program that's launching in October. DCFPI would also like to thank you, Chairman, for convening the task force and allowing excess pay equity funds for healthcare. Because of your leadership and the tireless efforts from the Exchange Authority, more than 110 facilities and 610 staffers are now, now have access to no or low-cost healthcare coverage. Um, Aussie will soon submit to the Council the parameters that they will use for the long-term program, including the funding formula, equity adjustment, and salary scale. Their decisions carry crucial implications. Aussie should make public their program design when they share it with the council and solicit feedback through a public comment period. Given their update will come after today's hearing, Chairman, I encourage you to hold a roundtable with key stakeholders to assess the plan and to offer improvements as needed. On the equity ad adjustment in particular, we think the Aussie should limit the extra funding that it provides to facilities um, participating in the top care subsidy program to ensure that children and families with the most significant barriers experience the greatest benefit. Um, lawmakers should also expand the pay equity fund to include fair compensation for directors who are now subject to new credentialing requirements and experiencing wage compression, whereby teacher salary increases are getting close or surpassing some of their salaries. The task force actually discussed the importance of including directors and in the, in the pay equity fund that felt like it was outside their scope and they mentioned that prevention of loss of leadership in the early education system um, was one thing for lawmakers to consider and to help prevent. Um, TCFBI also supports Mayor Bowser's proposal to expand the subsidy program to families making up to 300% of the federal poverty level. The good news is that we can afford to let more families in. Utilization rates, um, as illustrated in Aussie's responses, um, have been dropping rapidly over the last couple of years, largely due to declining birth rates. So policymakers can reinvest, reinvest those savings to expand eligibility. Lastly, we just ask you all to preserve all of the funding that's available um, and the pay equity fund, allow it to continue to be relapsing and just to protect funding as we build out the remaining elements of the compensation program. Thank you for your time.